Well, tonight, the sunny side of March in more ways than one. In what's often a cloudy, wet, sometimes even snowy month, this year definitely showing us a brighter side. And for some people, that sunshine isn't just a mood booster, it's also a moneymaker. As WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff found, all that sunshine has provided a surprise boom for people with solar panels. March can be a cruel month. The calendar says spring, but in many years, our weather has other plans. This March has been a welcome change. So much sunshine, some actually making money. It will be the, you know, the most generation that I've seen in March um, since owning the panels. Salem homeowner Derek Barr explaining his solar data. In 2015, he bought his panels, covering 30% of his total electric usage. The, typically, when I start to see the panels fire up is in March, they work better in cooler weather. This month, I've seen, you know, obviously we've had great weather, and I've seen the amount of generation uh, go up. Barr's experience has been repeated for many solar panel owners across southern New England. Stephen Braithwaite from Dover is also having the best march in 10 years. The 281 kilowatt hours generated by his system for this month would even be high for the sunny months of June, July, and August. We do always expect uh, some exciting numbers in March, but what we're seeing this year is really, uh, you know, from our analysis, about 38% higher than average. John Reese co-founded Bright Star Solar with his wife in 2009. He loves this time of year because he's able to restart installations, put in hibernation during the winter. And then when you get into March, every day is a little nicer than the one before. Uh, the guys are back installing panels. Uh, uh, you know, and our customers who are flipping the switch right now for the first time see some really exciting numbers. Data from Logan Airport shows that this month is on pace to be the sunniest March since at least 1950. Reese cautions his customers not to get too excited about a monthly solar surplus. There are going to be some spectacular months and some poor months, but over time, five, 10, 20 years, uh, you're gonna make a lot of money with these systems on your roof. Hmm. I don't like breaking records for like most snow measurement, no. but sunshine <laughs> measurement, absolutely. Yeah, and Eric, you're saying that we are actually gonna have an answer, a definitive answer on just where this ranks in our sunniest marches. Yeah, so we can feel that it's been sunny outside, that it's been a pretty dry month, but they actually do record it at Blue Hill Observatory. They have a special mm. uh, old school kind of way of doing it called the Campbell Stokes Sun Recorder. There's a special paper, so sun comes through a globe basically, almost like uh, you know, a mystery ball, if you will if you're getting your fortune told and it goes down to this paper and burns it and so at the end of the month we'll get the numbers we'll be able to tell if it's in the top five or top ten that's old school it's that is old very school cool. sometimes the old ways are the best ways right